Hi, I'm Johnny Engineer Termel, and this is my uh, October 29th uh, protest day in Toronto at Occupy Toronto. They were giving out these neat t-shirts, Occupy Toronto, but what was really neat was on the other side. Where's Robin Hood when we need him? So anyway, I'm going to be talking about the Robin Hood tax at the end of this video and how people are being misled. They're trying to get 1% back of what they're stealing is the answer when the actual answer is creating paychecks for jobs with provincial bonds. They did that by the union saying, you're not going to lay us off, you're going to pay us for small denomination provincial bonds. For hydro taxes, medical and licenses. Everybody in town took them. Everybody kept their jobs, hired more. So, would you take an increase in your benefits in small denomination provincial bonds? Uh, yeah, sure. There it is. He'll take an increase in his benefits in small denomination provincial bonds. The Argentine solution. Look it up at YouTube. YouTube? YouTube, okay. So, what a score! And I'm pushing the Argentine solution. Which is 2001 they were broke, 2006 all paid off. How'd they do that? Union said no layoffs, pay us the small denomination provincial bonds we can use for HTML, hydro, taxes, medical licenses. Everybody in the province took them. No layoffs, hired more guys, get paid off in five years, didn't make the news. So, YouTube for Argentine Solution, and you'll hear more about these demos. Our Popper Party, and that's the Prince and the Popper, P-A-U, not P-O-P-P. All right? Okay, so, Popper Party of Ontario, and I got the right, Robin Hood's got the right to the Sheriff's tax credits. So I tunneled into the Sheriff's Vault, and I can pass out tax credits for all your expenses. Ha ha ha! Thanks. <laughs> Pauline? Is your name Pauline? Oh, I had a friend who looked a lot like you. Okay. Hi, Pauline. <laughs> all right. I'm John the Engineer Termel. Guinness Book of Records for most elections contested, 75, and most elections lost, 74, with one called off. But I keep pushing the Argentine solution, fix the banking system, and needless to say, no bank is going to finance my party. And mine's king of the poppers. Well, Put it this way, I'm the engineer, only engineer on the planet specialized in the mathematics of gambling. I was TA in the mathematics of gambling course. And computers, electrical engineers. And we're being violated by an electronic death gamble. More good. And I saw it as my duty as a good engineer to reprogram the bank's computers to get rid of the interest rate. Now, that would liberate the debt slaves from the debts. Now, what's the job of the king of the debt slaves? That's why I took the name King of the Poppers. Because if I'm successful, we all have interest rate credit cards, never chased by a debt collector again. <laughs>
Well, I got a 40 minute speech at London Occupy from two nights ago. I just posted on YouTube last night. Oh, there's lots of stuff to talk about. I could fill hours. If I ever went into Jesus beating up the bakers, that's an hour ago like that, you know? Yeah, that's a good one. Well, what is Jesus' most cited quote in, in all of the scripture? Do you know what that is? Seven times. No. <laughs> It's the definition of interest rates. So, Jesus' most quoted statement in all of Scripture seven times is the definition of interest rates. To those who have abundance positive, will more be given, and for those who have no abundance, taking their negative will take it away. So, yes sir. Bring the religions together. Jesus, Nehemiah, Muhammad. You heard the Argentine solution? Would you take a raise or a job? In Argentina in 2001, they were broke. 2006, all paid off. How'd they do that? Unions oh, said no layoffs, not no money. We'll take small denomination provincial bonds. We can use to pay our hydro taxes and licenses. So all the unions, no layoffs, hired more people, out of debt for five years. Didn't make the news. So would you take a raise in Ontario provincial bonds? You can pay hydro taxes, medical. Thank you. There's one. Who else would take a raise in provincial bonds? Good government money for a change. <laughs> That's a global solution. That's why if you go to the Prime Minister of the Planet, I'm going to turn candy. You two, Prime Minister of the Planet, I come up. Hey, I think for Robin. 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 I we have V. Terry Parker, the guy who won in 2000 there, yeah. this guy for years. And we have three other guys who are trying to cite the crown for contempt for busting him while knowing the law was dead. And one of them, the crown's going, yeah, yeah, they were all charged after we fixed it, but they made a mistake. One of them was charged. And then the other three are sick guys, exemptees, who found out about our defenses after they were convicted, filed appeals within 30 days, and want their convictions overturned. Because they didn't know the law was good. And even if it's alive, they've got to sick. They've got exemptions to prove it. And the Hicks 170 decision says you just got to establish medical need to be exempt. And the GP case in Quebec, you brought a medical file to court and the judge let go. So this is all coming up November 7th. Just look for Magnificent 7. And I'll be writing reports leading up to them on the Magnificent Seven all at once. This is the Halloween costume? Yeah, I'll probably get to make the arguments. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's an anti poverty engineer. I get it. That's John. Change and make the world a better place. 
It's called a Tobin tax. It's called a financial transaction tax. It's called the Robin Hood tax. Doesn't matter what you call it, it's the same thing. And basically, here's how it works. Look up at those towers that you've been looking at for a while. The Tobin tax, the Robin Hood tax is designed to move money from those towers down to the street. Forward. As you may have heard, money has been drifting upwards through a magical process from the 99% to the 1%. The Robin Hood tax is a magical tool that makes it go the other way. Now, you might have heard that Adbusters magazine has called for a COVID tax of 1%. Now, what is that a tax on? It is a tax on trade that happens in the financial sector. So the economist is telling Occupy Toronto that money is flowing upwards from the 99% to the 1% in a magical process. And John the Engineer is telling you that there's nothing magical about the process. It's interest rates. As I mentioned earlier in the video, you may not have heard so well, seven times the most cited words of Jesus in the Bible are the definition of interest rates. To those who have abundance, positive, will more be given. And from those who don't have any spare abundance, even what they have will be taken away. Seven times that definition of taking from the poor to give to the rich is cited in Jesus' words. The most cited words in all the Bible. So, you have the Tobin tax, he says, is the magical tool to bring some of that money down. Yeah, a lousy 1%. What kind of Robin Hood is that? Let the theft go on and I'll get you back 1%. Well, if you Google for Robin Hood raid, in quotes, you'll come up with my Ontario Provincial Police Project Robin Hood raid on my casino Termel. Now, my casino had my own poker chips, interest-free medium of exchange. So, why wouldn't I? Now, first of all, Robin Hood, he stole from the rich to give to the poor, while I won from the rich to give to the poor. So, why wouldn't a real Robin Hood support the Robin Hood tax when it was first presented at the United Nations? Well, the problem is not in the pool taken from the rich to give to the poor alms is going to solve. Everybody, every corporation, every loan that created a new dollar has to be paid back with interest. So everybody borrows 10 from the pump house, bank, but everybody's got to bring back 11. So they dump the 10 in the economic pool to make production, then they try and recuperate 11 in sales to get out of debt, and that means that there's a problem. It's a mortgage, death gamble, like musical chairs. So, if you take a Tobin tax, you're basically splashing in the pool, taking from some of the rich people over to the poor people, right? Does nothing to affect the problem in the pump house. Well, at the very same time that the Tobin tax was being discussed at the United Nations, so was my United Nations international and local employment trading system. And... Well, the Tobin tax, they were looking for half a percent at that time to squeeze out of the rich, and they didn't pass it. So what do you think the odds are of 1% being squeezed out of the rich now? Duh. But the Unilets made it on the Millennium Declaration for a time-based currency, so you can pay off your debts with cash or with labor. So, finally, you have a choice. The Occupy movement, you can be misled by these economists who are telling you that Taxing 1% from the rich with a Tobin tax to give alms to the poor is the magical solution. Or you can believe that giving the poor jobs with paychecks, pay for with provincial bonds, anybody can pay their taxes, their hydro, their medical, and their license with. That's the real solution. Poor people want jobs, not alms, and the Tobin tax is charity. That's why this Robin Hood doesn't support that Robin Hood tax.